Hello, and welcome to Smooth Drifts with King Posh. Today, we are looking at the 1924 Austin 7, possibly a best rear-wheel drive drift tune. Now, I mean, it is the best I've made, um, and um, I think there's still room for improvement, but um, as you can tell here, now I've heard from a couple people saying that the rear-wheel drive is hard to drift. Well, let's see if it's hard to drift for me. It drives straight as an arrow. There's a 38,900. That's pretty good for this car. So let me show you guys what I did. Now I did change the rims. You don't. You can change the rims back to the natural uh, wired rims if you would like to. But let's get right into what I've done to this thing. Now I did try with the stock engine. It does work. You just have to mess with the gears a little bit more if you want to use the stock engine. Um, the tune is right here. King's Rear Wheel Drive Drift. All right. It's already up there. Second, third gear. Third is best. Easy, straight rear wheel drive drift tune. All right. Now, I kind of should have done this in the first place. I usually do this when I'm making videos. There we go. Do not disturb so nobody pops up. But huge shout out to JT for jumping on there. It's an A753. Uh, it's only got 196 horsepower and 113 foot pounds of torque, and it weighs 708 pounds. Now, here we're using the, uh, the, the, the motorbike uh, engine. All right. Of course, it's stock drivetrain, rear wheel drive, and there's no turbo. Um, I saw with the turbo. I mean, it does bring it up to a 778, but once it hits about 6,000 RPMs and the VTEC pretty much kicks in, um, it it's squirrely. So just use the stock naturally aspirated engine. All right, and I'm using a race tar compound for this thing, um, just to give it some more grip. Um, but I mean, I tried these ones, but it was B-class and then D-class. You would get D-class out of this. Um, but I just went with this one. I didn't go with this one just so, you know, people really wouldn't know that you're running a, a race tire compound. But uh, it, it, it works. It pulled that many, many points out of that little section, so I wouldn't complain too much. Here you got uh, 115s in the front and 115s in the rear. Now, like, I, I used my own rims here that I always like to use, the TC105Ns. Uh, they were lighter. Um, so, yeah. So I've, I've saved some weight. 708 pounds. That's not too bad. Now, the rims, I went with the 21s um, in the front. And 21s in the rear you really don't notice uh, you really don't notice much of a difference from them but uh, that's what I went with and it works all right you got a race clutch race transmission race drive line and a race differential in this uh, setup here and then here you got race brakes but as you can tell you can't even tell that you have um, race brakes on there and then of course it does have a drift springs and dampers kit uh, and uh, it also has anti-roll bars for both the front and the rear I have a roll cage in here um, just to help uh, uh, with control and then it's also as light as possible so we're saving only 54 pounds uh, maxed out there and that's it there's no uh, engine upgrade unless you you buy the turbo. Uh, if you buy the turbo, then you can upgrade that. So let's get right to the tune, show you guys, girls, what um, I did to make this um, work so well. So I made it 55-55, okay? 
so it's slippery. It's only got a top speed of 129.5 miles per hour. I mean, it doesn't really have much power to begin with. Here's my gearing that I came up with. Third is primary at 2.88. Alignment, this is what I've come up with. Uh, this is what worked the best. I tried negative, I did. I tried 1.4, 1.4 negative and it just didn't work it was too squirrely so when i did the uh the positive and positive in the front it fixed all the issues it's much smoother now and then whoops messing everything up there there we go um and then yes yeah, the straight build so 2.1 um to the rear on the toe and that that's what makes it a straight build all right and then goes at seven all right anti-roll bars are on the soft side springs I made them super soft I just zero them all the way down and then ride height I made sure that they were even dampening I did 2020 3.0 and 3.0 works perfect there is no downforce on this car braking I know you guys complain about my braking so I just left it stock and then my differential is a little strange I tried different um, different ways and this one seems to be the best setup for it and there you have it there's the tune no because i messed things up <laughs> but there's the tune well hey i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did definitely hit that like button if you're new well welcome to my channel and uh hey if you want to see some more on a daily weekly basis hit that subscribe until then Peace out and stay sideways, my friends.